It's all right. Um, that was rude. So we're trying to sync up the games as he was sadly not finding his dog to be able to record Elgato. Um, like I said, I'm horrible at just like speaking, you know, without prepping. It, it sounds weird. It feels weird. And hopefully, hopefully he get a good use out of that as he's going to use my recording to just sync up. Um, that said, a short run of uh, routine. We haven't actually been able to battle him, which in contrast, what I'm trying to do in this game is actually a godsend. Um, because this team is really good. Um, like The three remaining players besides me are really good players and has good teams. And he has Archeops, Lilligan, Persian, Rocham, Garbodor, Kingler, Pinsir, Gepite, Clang Clang and Magmar. And I am heavily expecting Archeops, Lilligan, Persian, Kingler, uh, possibly Gabite, and then it's between Percy and Rotom, I think both are good. Um, I expect to lose to Ar a very well designed Archeops. I have a lot of priority, I hope that works. Uh, besides that, I'm really just gonna try to keep myself afloat. Um, if it doesn't bring the Gabites, I think I have a strong, <laughs> like a strong play with, um, what do you call it? Um, like a better words. Jolteon. Uh, it's gonna probably be my main heavy duty Pokemon. Um, right, he's right now searching. So I'm probably gonna leave some type of uh, timestamp when things head off. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Also, second wave of Quivage. Wonderful. Um, so, anyway, to of course, root, good luck, have fun. Um, yeah, if, if you have, guys have noticed, like, I failed to upload a lot of things lately, and that's a lot to do with that. On the first day I got really sick, and it just didn't let off. Oh, I'm so glad not to see Lilligant. <laughs> Actually, huh, a lot of, like, Archeops is not there, so that's kind of nice. Uh, Pinsir is going to be annoying. Uh, I like the idea that I own, in theory, the speed tier. Um, he only has one defogger, and that is Rocham. And Pinsir could be a Scarf variant, and if so, it's going to be a bit problematic, actually. Um, damn, I regret not bringing Kangaskhan to this. I think I can lead up with Aldaris, um, see what he wants to do. I think a good lead for him are... Well, he has two really strong leads, both will work in his favor. But just looking at it, it makes most sense with leading up with either Rocham or Persian. The point could work, too. Uh, I don't expect Clink Clang or Magmar. I'm pretty convinced Pinsir is uh, a Scarfa or a Self Rocker. It also should be said, like, we both are in the lead with um, most kills per m or have one Pokemon that is in the lead. My King has gone as um, um, 13 kills and his Kingler has 17, I think. So he's in the lead, but my in the close second of four kills apart. That's actually kind of rough. But none of them are coming to this game, which is interesting to say the least. Um, though, I just, in lack of better words, I just thought Kangaskhan was just so tough with his team and he probably made the same call with his Kingler, though I couldn't necessarily know why. So with that said, of course, let's see what happens. I'm actually rather nervous, though I should be. Um, as stated, Root is a really strong player and um, only like fought him a handful of times. See, it starts with top lane. So I assume this is some type of scarf response and uh, Shadow Ball is gonna come my way. Is either that or. Huh. Yeah, gonna send Van Height. And only positive trait with Van Height is that uh, I can stomach a Volt Switch if it's so desired. The Shadow Ball's gonna sting, however. Really hope it isn't modest. Full switch. Nice, I get him locked in. That's gonna help. Um, gonna go for a solid John here. See if, one, if we can switch up moves. I'm glad. I should have gone for a sucker punch, but I'm glad that was his play. I can only assume he's scarfed or uh, heavy duty boots. Just decide to switch out, so we gotta keep that in mind. Goes into left shock. That's <laughs> about right. So gonna join here. Basically, put him. And um, we bat him pass, right? Let's 
see what he decides to do. He just decides to take the sleep. So I definitely assume him to go for rocks. Right? <sighs> I am so nervous. But it mostly has to do with it. I know he's a good player. Uh, it kind of bothers me. <laughs> so right, he's now asleep, which is good. Triple Axel is quite safe. Only like good switching he got is, uh, I think Magma, right? I'm gonna bulldoze here. I don't believe um, he brings in Rotom, at least not directly. Just to risk the Triple Axel. So whoever comes in, I want to be able to outspeed it. Since he didn't see Intimidate, he should know I'm somewhat offensive. Switches out, as fat. Goes into top lane. Ah, I did not want to see that. Right, triple axle here, hope it doesn't burn me. Half expecting trick. Willow. Ah, fuck. That's a bummer. Let's see. Do we do anything? I would do alright. Let's see. Shadow Ball right. I'm bringing Van Height again. Um, um, I don't like this. I really don't. I like bringing down Road Trump a little bit. I can set up some hazards, maybe, but he should be able to switch out or go for neutral Shadow Ball, it makes sense. Now we know about speed at least, which is good. Shadow Ball's still gonna sting. However, my Shadow Ball should do a, a pretty chunk too. Because now my Hitmontop is actually possible setup fodder. Not a position you want to be in. He has to burn at least one turn of sleep with his guard chumps. So that's kind of good. I was actually kind of leading towards Toxic, but I really, with a bit of luck, honestly, um, hoping this kind of works too. Let's see, how much will one do? Oh, that's a very special defensive guy. Fortunately for us, he does get a special defense decrease. We get another hit at it. Uh, which you probably won't appreciate. No, no, at least it's fully defensive, which works for us. Is he gonna make a call here? I, I, I'll take any hacks I can get, just to get myself in some real position. Um, because right now he owns the speeds here and the force switches. I can kind of like wiggle around them, but that's about it. All right, decide to stay at least once. And this time we'll do really not that much more, honestly. This time we'll him pass. Um, I don't want to risk getting myself in a crappy position. I'm not more crappier than, you know, intended. Um, all there is is good. The Dawn Rig is actually still really good. Yeah, all there is is just overall stronger, more solid, a more complete matchup heavy Pokemon. Um, it all depends who wakes up though. Still asleep, all right. Um, between Poltergeist and Horn Leech, kind of prefer Horn Leech. He's very neutral, and hopefully you get something out of it. Who is thinking though? I like that he really are considering his movement. I think Persian comes in here. Sting. Uh, yeah, looks alright. Yeah, we won't do a lot, 
but we'll do something. And consider what I'm dealing up against, I'll happily take anything. Right. So here it comes to knock off. Easiest play in the book. Is either that or foul play. I like that he went so early with setting up uh, stealth rocks, even though you know he made it with some passion. Heat miser. All right. So we know this guy gets scorching sands. I don't know what he was predicting, but that's something that's going to bother me a little bit. Um, I think I skull here. I think I force a switch anyway, even though I'm not I don't have the matchup. Psychic. Ooh, that'll do way more. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's good. <sighs> Bye for not what I wanted to see. Really not what I wanted to see, actually. Um, right. That was actually not good. <laughs> Alright, this charging. Um, right, this is I switch out, which I think is fair. Goes to left shark, yeah, how about that? So, yeah, this is definitely problematic. Um, He's gonna wake up this time for sure, and uh, yeah, this is not great. Alderas is still solid, um, even though it's problematic. It's a definitely a solid switching, at least for now. Wow, yeah, he's sleeping a long time here, that's for sure. Both the guys in this time. He should wake up now, however. He has no more turns left to sleep. And honestly, I really just <laughs> should have gotten myself a more proper situation. Right now, I just need a chipping on Clink Lang, and maybe I should get myself in a more solid position. Let's see, Pinsir comes in. Alright, let's see. Full guys will do... Alright, his choice gods, that's... That's obvious enough. How much will I do then? Yeah, it's good damage. Let's hope that's enough to kill him with a sucker punch. Let's find out. Yeah, got him! <laughs> ah, great. So no more speedy pincer. That works. All right, top lane. Don't say. No way, both switches. Probably going for burn. Owning the speedster, that's the question. Alright, switching in Dawnbreak. I mean, at this point, having him burn pretty much makes sure that I can't break apart his team. Alright, Shadow Ball. Really want to bait him for. Um, let's see, the Shadow Ball will do. Not enough to kill. So would it be tempted to Volt Switch? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that out. I feel I need to... Uh, I need to bait him a little bit. The 
with my triple axe will definitely hurt him. Though it's not you no know, ideal position. A bit surprised when for Shadow Ball. I think Sucker Punch kinda kills him. I'm not sure though, however. Um make an assumption as we go. Which is that? Okay, goes into Heath Miser. Right. Not the worst. I'm discharging again though. I have to. Oh, coward. That charge, yeah, I should have bad him past. I know that. I really want to know what his uh, guard chump can do besides um, the obvious part, um, which is Quaken. He should have outraged too. So I think with that in mind, I'm bringing in Dondrick. Basically sacking it. Toxic. Yes! Actually got that play right. Nice. Triple Axel here, being super obvious. Um, really want a rapid spin, honestly. Um, So we go in super passive, and it's kind of, it, it isn't frustrating me, but I know as long as this continues, I probably can't chip away as much as I want to, and that's a problem. Right, switches out, goes into top lane. Alright, so if I just can land these three hits, at least that puts Rolchum on uh, a pretty rough situation. Alright, so you can you can pull that out again. But his play should be Shadow Ball here. Definitely not Bolt Switch. Sending into Falcon. Um, just to knock off. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't Bolt Switch. I feel. I feel that's too obvious. Um, Shadow Ball, we're, we're not, by the way, not gonna stomach this at all, but at least I do it. Um, and U turn should kill. So you gotta decide whether or not you wanna chip away or whatnot. I think if Persian comes in, uh, I get an, in somewhat nice position, and if the Clan Clan comes in, I'm gonna try to uh, chip away at it. <sighs> We've been real nice with um, Quillfish right now. Wow. Did not think it was gonna die for sure. Right U turn and uh, top lane is dead. Nice. Let's see. Alderis is kinda solid. Donric is not solid. Ashbringer definitely makes his stay longer. We're gonna try something with like that. Just wanna see what he wants to do. Um, I'm actually kind of worried. Um, I don't know how much punishment I can take and still keep going at it, honestly. I had one plan, I don't believe I'm there. We have Gears of War. I'm gonna hope on superpower to uh, do enough damage. As he sets up what I can only assume is a gear grind. Mana rise. Alright, that works. Not as I intended, but it works. Let's see how much will this do. 
Oh, absolute to ruin him. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Um Oh wow. Okay, that crit was definitely I think that matters. I'm choice banded, but that's still like wow. That did way more than I even thought it could do. Let's see Beast Team comes in. Right, Sunny and Dondrick. I mean, I don't believe I can survive a foul play, there is no way. I can only assume it goes for a parting shot, trying to um, reposition himself. And he has Magmar, he has this thing left, and he has the Guard Chomp, which, or the Gebite, which I try, ah, I don't know. <sighs> I just don't know. Um, I assume it's a parting shot? Hypnosis! Wow, alright. Yeah, there is no way we are able to rapid spin here. So we might punch in, just chip away really. Gnosis again. Why? Is it scarfed? Right, back punching, I mean whatever. Um why hypnosis? No way is he scarfed. Yeah, switches out, makes sense. Goes into left chart. Yeah, rough skin, how about that? I knew that. Right. Let's see if we can get this to work. Good play too, by the way. Hope it doesn't have rock slide. Right. He is thinking, which is something I like. But only if I can get myself into position, which I'm not sure I can do. It all depends on his moves. Earthquake, Toxic, Stealth Rocks. He should have Outrage. Or Rock Slide. And if Outrage is too much, then at least Dragon Claw. I am so worried, I'm so nervous. Can I break through here? I this is a you know a game of sacks only. I don't like it. Rest. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool indeed. Uh, and I am definitely not you turning out to um, see the end of that wrap up. He's gonna sleep at least. There is no way he has rest talk, right? No, we've seen already. We have yet to see Earthquake, right? No rest talk. Good. I was like, no, I am not fucking this up, right? Alright, the band are outrageous. Can they break? At least he's gone. That's kind of nice. Ruskin, sure. Double the speed versus Scarf. I mean, I think Persian can manage it. But Persian can probably outspeed this. Magmar definitely can't. But if it brings Magmar over Persian, I'm gonna feel less worried. If Persian comes out first, then I'm being honestly very worried. I mean, 
that word anyway. <laughs> Beast thing comes out. I expect foul play. Or hypnosis. I don't believe I ever out prepped for, you know, this at all. Nice! Thank God! It's gonna absolutely kill him. Do I have one more turn or will I get confused? Tailwind petered out? Oh no. I'm forced to take a hit that I can't stomach. Oh my god, I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see this. Psychic will do how much? Fuck. Fracture, please. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> At least we know he's not. Oh my god. A paralyze would be nice, to say the least. At least we know his life form, and I do have speed. It's just how much damage will I do? That looks safe. That looks knockoff safe, right? And I am jolly, right? I should be able to kind of stomach whatever he throws at me. Ah, oh, fuck, I am. It's either, it's either a bronze game or a gold game. Please tell me. Tell me I'm jolly. Tell me I didn't fuck this up. I am very jolly. Question is, am I enough jolly? Because I can't remember what I prepped for. Oh, I am faster! <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Oh. I mean, I was so worried. And the thing is, I probably never would... I actually had Trevenant left, I kind of forgot about him. He wouldn't be able to sucker punch through that uh, victory, that, that was alright. Oh, well, it was a good game. Well done, Root. Roots. I mean, honestly... Early rocks and pressure me, I had a different plan in mind that didn't work. And... Fuck. Well done. <sighs> anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game. And make sure to take a root side of this battle, which of course will be based on my video. And with that said, take care of one right. Bye. And we're playing finals. Hey. <laughs> awesome. Take care.